Don't use semi-open stance. Don't use leg drive when you want to hit heavy forehand with a lot of top spin. Use narrow, not wide base between your feet when you want to hit a volley. Transfer your weight forward when being on a full run along the baseline. Finish your split step before the ball gets out from the racket. In the following posts, I will show you why these advices are misleading. And please let me know what you think in the comments below. What I don't like, and a lot of coaches do teach that, is the semi-open. The semi-open is this stance, but it's not, it's not really doing anything for you. It shows the opponent where you're going with it. You don't have more power with it, and you, uh, you kind of open your shot too early. A lot of players think that if they push on their legs, they're going to have more top fin, right? Yes, we have to stay. But it's not, but it's not true. Yeah. It's not true. Be Fernando Gonzalez had a massive forehand. The quality of his top spin, the aggressiveness he was showing every time he was hitting one. <laughs> Gonzalez's place in my personal rankings of the best forehands in history will surprise you. Because what gives the top spin is your handwork here. So if you stay there, your hand does the job. If at the same time you do this, your hand cannot do the job. Okay, so you know you're gonna do something. Every time you hit a forehand, imagine that there is a roof here. Go down. Yeah. Imagine there is, and if you go up, what's gonna happen? Ay, 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 ay. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> So you do the split step and what a lot of people don't realize is that actually if you're covering the middle this foot goes inside so you don't jump from here straight there what you do after the split step is you split this foot goes here and then you jump you have more power you create a further distance Now when to do it, and this is a real question. The idea is to land right before the ball gets out of the opponent's racket. Because once you land, it's gonna be time to take a decision when, whether you go right or left. The moment of landing is when you are most reactive. Ideally, you want to know where the ball is going even before that, while both feet are in the air. Here you can see that once Novak landed, he already initiated unit turn. Just come. When you're in touch with the ball, you can go back. If you're going back, the ball is not going to pass the net. So Once you're in touch with the ball, push it here. Transferring weight forward during a full run along the baseline is impossible. The body always keeps going in the same direction with movement. A major concern for such a shot is the need for a quick recovery to the opposite direction, which is enabled by a hop immediately after the contact point. Go. Now, you know, the first backhand that you missed, you did this. That's what you missed. Look, the weight is there. No, the weight is there and then you come back, okay? Go! No! Great! I love to learn from others, but I always use common sense and careful judgment before acquiring new knowledge. While I respect everyone's career achievements, let's raise the bar by prioritizing facts accuracy. Each voice, 
especially those with numerous followers, bears the responsibility of sharing verified facts to enhance the growth and credibility of our sport. Always check the facts before you post. Message to the audience, don't blindly follow our advices. Use common sense first and observe closely the best players when playing.